Chinese education day, I am telling you that I am going to tell you how to make a Chinese vlog. For that, you need a square paper. And a scale. Now, you need to make a square paper with this rectangular paper. If you have a rectangular paper, no problem. Now, take this top portion of the rectangular paper to make the waste portion of the rectangular paper by cutting this corner and taking it to this corner. and make grease and make a grease now you need to tear this left all part now for that Take a scale or a scissor out your hand. If you want to do with hand, no problem. Flip it over and make this portion to come up. To come up till this comes with, without the help of this down portion. So I got till here and make a crease very strongly. Keep remaining for the side and now open it so that you you have your square paper. If you directly buy the square paper, no problem. I will show you should have the diagonal line. For the diagonal line, take this corner and make it reach this corner by catching this corner and this corner. and make a crease so that you will have a diagonal line in your square paper and do the opposite. So take this corner and make it read this corner. Now open it up. So that you will have to do the lines. Now take this portion to make this portion for a horizontal line. And make a grease. And now open it up. Now Take this cord, this portion to make this portion for the vertical line. And make a grease. Now open it up. So now you'll have to do the lines from a horizontal line and a vertical line. So take this, so this is one part and this is one part, 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 and this is one part of your lines. So now take this one, so take this part or this part of your horizontal line and make it to reach this and make it to meet up above this, above this part of vertical line. So I want to take this, this part of the horizontal line so that it will be easier and I will make it to reach the above part of the vertical 
of this part of the color. Like actually in this corner half and taking it on you you this horizontal line end part is here and this vertical line end part is here or here. So it will be easier to make it towards you. So take this ending of your horizontal line and make it to read this ending of your vertical line like this and catch it catch it there now you will have here one horizontal line here one vertical diagonal line and here one vertical line so now take this diagonal line to to meet about this por portion by catching this end point and taking it to this end point like this and fold it down and make a crease now you will have two flaps here take out one flap so it will be tri a triangle and here one one part will be there so now flip it over and take this remaining portion and take this point to this point and this point to this point like this And like this and squeeze it in like this so you will so you will have four flaps now take any one flap of any side and you will have a pocket and open that pocket and open that pocket and squeeze it open that pocket Nice, nicely and and squeeze it down and press it down like this so that it looks like this and flip it over and do the same open this up and press it press it down And make up this. And for this two flaps, take this this part to a square and fold them in half. And make a this. Now take this part and again open it and press it down and grease it. And do the same for this one. Make it in half. Take this flap and open the pocket and press it down. And make a grease. So that it looks in this shape. Now you will have a plain a plain flap here. So open the pocket and then you will have a grease inside here like this and tuck it in tuck 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 it in till this upper upper portion of the grease will come as a vertical line to this middle like this and now fold it down now do the same thing for opposite one and fold it so that the petal part is ready these two are your petals they should be sharp and now close it so that it looks in your petal looks in the shape and flip it over and you will have that portion again and do the same thing that you have done for the up before one
and now you have done for two flaps and you again you have to do them for another two flaps you cannot find them so that take these two petals you have made any of the petal and make it in half so that it comes in the shape and again make it in half and again make it in half so that again plain will come and fold it and again do the same for the, as the before one flip it over and fold it in half and again fold it in half so another plane will come and do the same thing And now the full po overall portion will look like this. That's a diamond. Now take each flap downwards like this, catching this and like this, and fold it in, fold it in half to on to one side, and take this first portion of the left side and fold it in half and again fold it in half so again one petal will come and again fold it down and flip it over and again you will get the petal and fold it down now take the right right part and fold it in half and again fold it in half so now you will get a petal so make it down so now it looks over the overall portion will look like this and make each flap to stand like this each flap to stand like that So now your Chinese flowers is ready. These are your petals and these are your leaves. So this is your Chinese flower. If you want to pack it, you can again close them all and keep it in your bag. And you can again lift them up. This is your nice club. Bye bye. See you later.